art by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTSDILL to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. ...to do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Clots Productions, welcome back to another Magic the Gathering gameplay. For this match we have Noah playing Mono White Control and he's going up against me with Glissa Grave. Noah was on the play for this game, started with an Evolving Wilds and then I laid one down as well. So at the end of my turn he sacrificed his to find himself a Plains. He then played a second one, so I searched for a Forest and he found an Island. I then played a Strangle Root Geist and attacked for 2, dropping Noah to 18. Noah then played a pristine talisman on his turn and then I attacked again so he gained one and then lost two going to 17. Then post combat I laid down a grim backwoods and put a sword of feast and famine into play. Noah played another talisman on his turn and then played a phyrexian metamorph to copy my sword. I played another evolving wilds on my turn and sacrificed it to search for an island. I then equipped my sword to my geist and attacked for four more dropping Noah to 13. He discarded a buried ruin while I untapped my lands. Then post combat, I played a solemn simulacrum and searched for a swamp. Noah then laid down a haunted fingraph on his turn and then cast a sun titan, gaining two life from his talismans going up to 15. When the titan came into play, he returned the buried ruin from his graveyard and then equipped his sword to the titan. I played two mortar pods on my next turn and then equipped my sword to my solemn and then attacked with the solemn along with the geist. I was thinking that if he blocked the solemn, I would be able to kill the titan with my two germs, however I forgot that they were black. So I just ended up doing 2 damage, dropping Noah to 13, and then losing my Solemn and drawing a card. Noah played a Solemn of his own on his turn, going back up to 15 and searched for a Plains. He laid down a second Buried Ruin and then attacked with his Titan, returning his Evolving Wilds to play. I just took it, going down to 12 life. Also discarded a Forest from the Sword. For my next turn, I played a Hex Parasite and then followed it up with the Gliss of the Traitor. Noah attacked with his Titan again and got his Evolving Wilds back. I chose to take it, so went down to 4 life and discarded a deadly allure from my hand. At the end of the turn, I used my two mortar pods to kill Noah's Solemn and return my Solemn from my graveyard to my hand. I started off my next turn by flashing back my deadly allure, targeting my parasite. Then I equipped my sword to my Glissa and then attached a mortar pod to my Strangle Root Geist and sacrificed it, dropping Noah to 14. I then attacked with the team, so Noah started off by tapping his talismans to go up to 16. He chose to block the parasite with his titan since he had to. Then Glissa did first strike damage for 5, dropping him down to 11. He also discarded a Day of Judgment from the sword. Then for regular combat damage, his Titan died with my Parasite, so I returned it with the Glissa. He then took another 3 from the Geist, going down to 8. Then post combat, I replayed my Solemn and searched for another Forest, and then replayed my Parasite. At the end of the turn, Noah sacrificed his Buried Ruin to return his Solemn to his hand. He then sacrificed his Haunted Fingraph, returning the one creature in his graveyard to his hand, which was his Sun Titan. He then laid down a Ghost Quarter on his turn and then gained 2 life going to 10, casting a Terminus, forcing me to put all my creatures on the bottom of my library. He then replayed his Solemn and searched for another Plains. I then played a Strangle Root Geist on my turn and equipped my sword to it and attacked, so Noah just decided to Chump Block with his Solemn. I then equipped my Mortar Pod to my Geist and passed the turn. Noah replayed his Sun Titan on his turn, returning his Fingraft to play. He then gained 2 going up to 12 to play a Sphere of the Suns. Then he went ahead and equipped his sword to his titan. I attacked again with my geist on my turn, so Noah just blocked it. However, before combat damage, I sacrificed the geist to my grim backwoods to draw a card. I didn't find any answer for his titan though, so I went ahead and scooped it up, taking us to game two. So that's it for this gameplay. I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version in the annotations at the end, along with links to my vlog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. If you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.